You want to know my story? You want to know who I am? Well, here's my YouTube story. About five years ago, a uh, friend of mine, Chad Hurley, you know him as the founder of YouTube. I know him as my best friend. And I said, Chad, we, we, were, we were pretty drunk, and I said, Chad, I wish we could go online and look at someone fall off a, a bike or cats look really cute. He said, that'll never happen. What if we made a place where people could post videos of cute cats and people vlogging? He just looked at me like I was crazy. But I wasn't crazy. You too, we could call it. He thought I was nuts. Was I nuts? I'd had a good idea or two. YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, I created Facebook. That's another time. You know what? It's too bright in here. Glasses. Go back on now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What if? What if Chad didn't... And stab me in the back. Now I just sit at home and talk to myself in the mirror. Maybe surf the web once or twice a day. But I don't go to YouTube. No. I mean, I upload to you. I mean, I'm uploading this. <sighs> Look, am I drunk right now? Maybe. Am I crazy? Probably. But did I invent YouTube? No. But in all seriousness, my name is Chris Ventura. My YouTube channel is Chris Ventura Random. And this, if you're still watching it, is my YouTube story. So like I was saying, my name's Chris. And I want to say happy birthday, YouTube. Five years old. Uh, you deserve it. Do you really have to deserve a happy birthday? Do you just have to be born? I don't know. So I opened my first YouTube account back in May 2007. Uh, my YouTube channel name was Chris.Ventura7. And it was really at the time just somewhere I could post clips of me and my friends goofing around. Then after a couple months I decided to actually use YouTube to upload videos I, I did specifically for YouTube. Uh, at the time they were singing videos. And after doing that, I actually got a pretty good response from people. People would comment on my videos, friends of mine that I hadn't, or people that I went to high school with that I hadn't talked to for years. That's when I started seeing YouTube, and I'm like, wow, there's really a community here that I never really noticed. Now, although I opened my account in 2007, for the first year plus, uh, I just used my account to subscribe to channels and comment and, and rate. So fast forward a little bit to the end of 2009. <laughs> In October, I didn't have a job. I was working full-time, but come October, I didn't have a job, and I was doing school. I was just in school. There came a night where I was on YouTube, and I discovered uh, Philip DeFranco's channel, SXE Phil. Wow, this, this is someone sitting down, legitimately for YouTube, for the viewers, to talk to them and make you laugh, and I was laughing at what he was saying, and I said to myself, I'm like, wow, I, I would love to do that, because I've always wanted to do stand-up comedy, and I've had the guts. I like entertaining people. And I kind of forgot about it for a while, and then I came across Shea Carl, who was a vlogger. And I'm like, there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do on YouTube, you know, and I'm still thinking about it, and now it's like November, and then I find Wheezy Waiter. I love Wheezy Waiter. I, I found his videos back in November. I spent a, two, three nights just going back and watching and watching and watching videos. Same with Phil, I mean a lot of them. Alright, so how many people are still watching? Let's keep going. So I did that for like another month, I watched all these people, and I'm like, I really, really want to do this because I love entertaining people, and this seems to reach a lot of people. But my biggest concern was I did not want to copy these people. But I convinced myself, you know, we have different humor, it's going to be the same kind of, it's a YouTube show, but I have a different humor, so it's not going to be the same as theirs. So then came December 26, 2009, and I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to open a YouTube account specifically for doing videos. First video came up, I think three days later, and it was shot on my eyesight, not HD. Um, I didn't write anything out, I just kind of recorded it. And before I knew it, I had 100 subscribers. Mostly consistent of friends I went to high school with, friends, family, uh, co-workers, stuff like that. And that's honestly how I felt. I was like, I'm entertaining this amount of people in my community. And then I start getting viewers that are like, oh, I love your video, I'm from Spain, I'm from UK, and I'm like, Oh, this is, I mean, you know it's worldwide, but you don't expect people to watch your video. How do they find my video? I don't know. And I started getting comments. I really feel like it's its just something I look forward to, is reading the comments you guys leave, my, my subscribers leave. Or, so I really like this community, and I'm just having fun doing it. Honestly, I love making videos, because I love the comments. And I've said love like a thousand times, but really, I like the comments, and I love my subscribers um, subscribing. 
and it's just fun. This is a long-winded video. It's, it's awesome to connect with you guys. Uh, that's what YouTube is to me. It's basically a place where people can connect, people can get a laugh. My goal when I opened my YouTube account was just to entertain somebody somewhere for three to five minutes in their day. I'm, I'm loving it right now, and I'm one of the new guys. I've only, I haven't even had it a year, and it's been around for five, and I hope that I'm around the next time there's a big birthday celebration for YouTube, and there's a lot more of you guys subscribed to me, and I just want to thank YouTube for giving me somewhere to be entertained three to five minutes a day by people I won't find on TV, and giving me an outlet to reach people all over the world and make you guys laugh. You know, before YouTube, most of the videos that I watched that took place in someone's bedroom with a camera was porn. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Happy birthday. Thanks for watching. I should stop. And I'm out. Uh, uh, I've been on my knees the past 40 minutes trying to shoot this video. My knees kill. Now I know what it feels like to be in prison. I gotta go ice my knees. That's what she said.